So Illinois State and Iowa State. Illinois State coming in 24-5. They finished 14-4 in the Missouri Valley Conference. Meanwhile, the Cyclones finishing 20-8 on the year, 10-8, 10-6 rather, in the Big 12. And the officials, John Hughes, Rick Hartzell, and Dave Libby. And in talking to some of the guys at Illinois State, what they want to do is slow down Dedrick Willoughby from the very beginning of this game. Well, they know that in Iowa State, Dedrick Willoughby is the guy that normally starts out with their offense. But the Iowa State always also has Kenny Pratt, a guy for his size who likes to get down on the block. So it won't be quite as easy for the Redbirds of Illinois State to just shut down Dedrick Willoughby. Iowa State in the gold uniforms, Illinois State in the red, inside Cato, underneath the basket, and he turns it over. They came out into that good man-to-man. -man. You got people making plays early that don't need to make them tough pass try to be made by Cato. Inside, and Leroy Watkins had his shot rejected by Kelvin Cato. J.C. Holloway the other way for the Cyclones. Here's Willoughby. He's been having hamstring problems all season. Missed 31 straight practices. But is starting to finally get healthy. And we'll get a whistle and foul on the baseline. Yeah, trying to keep uh, Dedrick Willoughby from getting the ball, I believe, was Schaefer and got called for that foul. So Schaefer Bauer picking up the foul. He's a transfer from East Carolina. Probably the best shooter on the Illinois State team. J.C. Holloway, I think, is so valuable for their team. This is a guy that you need somebody to control what you're doing. Holloway is the guy that really doesn't have to shoot the ball. He's got good hands, good sense of where the game needs to be so they can get it to Willoughby. Around the screen, inside, and Willoughby sinks his first shot of the game. A lot of patience on offense for the Cyclones. Yeah. But the Cyclones did a good job. They came back and tried to press. The ball got thrown up by the Redbirds. They eventually threw it away, though. They beat the press, did the uh, Redbirds, by just throwing it up ahead after the mate. There's Bankhead. They back off him. He will not take that shot. Inside, Pratt, quick release. Tipped up and recovered by Rico Hill. Jamar Smiley. Point guard gets the high screen. Passes on the shot, gives it up to Watkins. Well, he's not a shooter. He's a guy that delivers the ball. And that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to deliver instead of taking the shot. But I think on that one, you got to at least look at the basket. Mueller, you know, I don't think he re he, he realizes who he's playing against. This is Kel Cato. He gets up quick with a good wingspan. And that's how that ball gets blocked. So a 20-second timeout called by Iowa State is... Kenny Pratt was hitting the eye and they'll head to the sidelines. Pratt, they list him, Quinn, at 6'5". His game <laughs> primarily is played on the low post. But we looked at him yesterday, and if he's 6'2 and a half, he's lucky. Oh, at best. I mean, I, I don't know if he's trying to fool people by saying he's 6'5". There's no chance that he's 6'5". But he has a 6'5 kind of game, if you will. Good head on his shoulders, but he, he is always getting into your body getting into your arms, and he plays better on the inside than he does on the outside. He is their power forward. Great ability to go to the free throw line. There he is on the block. They'll give it back to Bankhead. Willoughby. Count it. Good tough shot there because the pressure was all over him. Schaefer was in the right position. Iowa State full court pressure. Oh, Schaefer oh, oh, and oh, he oh, answers. Oh. I mean, and confident from the time he took the shot. He's just stroked it right there, right out of the press. Kevin Stallings is going to attack it. Shea Bauer hit five of ten three-pointers in their conference championship game for 15 points. Ahead, Smiley in transition. Nice no-look pass to Watkins. And because he's left-handed, Watkins got the ball in the basket. Cato thought it was right-handed, and he missed the block, but he was there in time. Smiley averaging seven assists per game. Second team, all Missouri Valley. Pratt inside, leaning in, travel. Yeah, he got the contact in his good defensive position that time inside, and, and Pratt got called for the foul. Watch the, the, the pass is something that you got to watch, but here's what causes it. See, he goes to the left hand, and Cato comes across way early. Muller 
pull it up off the Uh oh, I tell you what, we saw these guys shoot yesterday, and they can really stroke the basketball, Quinn. You know what I said to Kevin Stallings? I said, your guys shooting pretty good. He said, yeah, we made a lot of shots today. I don't know about tomorrow, but I'm telling you, they're stroking this with great confidence. Willoughby around the screen. He comes up short, snatched down by Hill, and he's bumped and fouled. They give that to Kenny Pratt. But Kevin Stalling said his guys can they can shoot it. I mean he's got confidence in them because and you notice they play with the kind of freedom that you can take a shot in transition and not be fearful of coming out because you miss it. They shoot 45% as a team from the floor, 35% from the three-point line. Turn around, jump shot on the baseline. Rico Hill. And Illinois State on a 10-0 run. They lead it 10-4. Done a good job getting it where it needs to go, guys. I mean, the guy, the shooters of the hot hand, that guy has gotten the ball. Hill averages close to 19 a game. Bacon, too strong, pulled down by Muller. And here's Smiley. A lot of enthusiasm in his dribble. Leaves it. Hill underneath, going up strong, and he's fouled. Well, I tell you, that time, Hill got away with the travel, but he's got a shot blocker in Cato from Iowa State, and you know shot blockers like to go up. Fifteen fifty-three to go here in the first half of play. Ten for our score. Illinois State. They beat Southwest Missouri State. Steve Alford's team, seventy-five seventy-two in the championship game of the Missouri Valley Conference. Located in Normal, Illinois. Their last tournament appearance, nineteen ninety, and this is their third straight postseason appearance, playing in the NIT last year. Yeah, they were in that tournament in 1990. They lost to Michigan in, in, uh, in Long Beach. As it looks like uh, this Watkins has some blood on his hands. He immediately has to come out of the game. So Rico Hill, the NBC Tournament Player of the Year, sinks the first free throw. And the Cyclones in Ames, Iowa, they got into the tournament. On an at-large bid, they are the 18th-ranked team in the country, but right now, they're in trouble. They're trailing Illinois State 12-4. No fear on the part of Illinois State taking on a member of the Big 12. They lead it 12-4 right now, 15-53 to go in the first half of play. Gus Johnson, Quinn Buckner with you, Illinois State. Comes into this game 24 and 5, 14 and 4 in the Missouri Valley Conference. However, Iowa State, they're not playing really good basketball right now. They come in losing four of their last six ball games. And that was a concern of uh, Tim Floyd when I talked to him. You know, you and I were talking to him yesterday. He said, We're really not playing that well. And he was concerned about the happening. Just what has that Illinois State's games confidence they have. And they've come out in a little bit of a matchup zone, trying to make sure they know where the shooters are. Holloway, pump fake, took a step closer. And Iowa State right now cold on offense. The part of the problem is, you know, when J.C. Holloway is not a guy that shoots it a lot, but that means you don't have the guys you want shooting the ball, taking shots. That's tough when you're trying to make a run. A two of seven from the field, Illinois State four of six. Jay Fowler, guarded by Willoughby. Willoughby pushing him, pushing him out. Get it to Muller. 14 to go on the shot clock. Smiley crosses over, got inside. Rebounded by Holloway. Good defense by Holloway. Smiley thought he had him beat. Here's Willoughby on the other side. 1-3-1 zone. If you watch Illinois, too, Illinois State, what they do when they come at you, they generally come hands up, particularly if they know they're going at a shooter. Kenny Pratt, he can't get the roll. Kicked out of bounds, and they say it's last touch by Illinois State. And Tim Floyd, the head coach at Iowa State, turned down the job at LSU. One of the hottest coaching prospects in the country in his third season at Iowa State. Done an outstanding job to Tim Floyd. 
I mean, in addition to his other postseason play, last year they went NIT and lost in the quarters to Tulane. So they, they know how to play in, in the postseason. So J.C. Holloway will throw it in bounds. Here's Bankhead. Not a shooter. Inside. Pratt had it blocked and out of bounds. They say he touched it last. Yeah, that, I made the mistake of talking about that. That's Illinois State was, was in the NIT. Last year, Iowa State was in the, on the Big A. Hill in the basket, got the step, rejected from behind by Cato. Yeah, he's got to get it to the other side of the rim if he's going to go on Cato because Cato's arms are just too long. He won't let you get it up, up there that easy. And Holloway, Strip, Smiley, no-look pass, Muller. Well, well, Muller's looking for a little help from the crowd, but clearly Smiley has got him in a position to make some shots. As you can see, they've just been able to push it up, get some open looks. Bad transition by Iowa State. Some good offense by Illinois State. Redbirds three of three from the three-point line. Really stroking the basketball to begin. Willoughby in the corner. Too much. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Redbirds. Smiley doing a good job finding the shooters. Well, Smiley is a point guard that knows where the shooters are. You can see right there, Muller's waiting for the ball to come, trying to enlist the crowd to get more involved in the game. It's not like they need much help the way they've gotten off to this start. Cyclones haven't scored in the last four minutes and 30 seconds. Here's Pratt inside, gives it up. Cato, and somebody got a hand on it. Cato thought he had an easy dunk, too. Looked like Hansel got his hand on that one. When you come and help your teammate out, you see going there, then coming over here. Hansel got over there and kept it from going, uh, going up easily. Off shot by Kenny Pratt. Smiley, head of steam, tried to split the defense and drew the blocking foul. Boy, I thought that was a good read by Kenny Pratt, but the official had it right on the angle, and he made the call against him. So far, for Iowa State, they have not gotten any production from their front court being outscored 12 to nothing by Illinois State. And a five-second violation called against Smiley. Well, Smiley was looking for Rico Hill to make a move, and he didn't make that move. And I suspect by now Kevin Stallings is expecting Iowa State to make a little bit of a move. 15-4. Willoughby. They reverse the ball. Cato trying to post up inside on Watkins. Pratt cut off. 14 to go on the shot clock. Willoughby trying to drive inside in the corner. Here's Bankhead. Six to shoot. Yeah, he's Holloway's got to shoot, and he can make shots. He's going to have to shoot the ball because he's the one player they'll leave open. Comes up with the steal. Two guys on this Iowa State team. The Redbirds are aware of that Willoughby as well as Kenny Pratt when it comes to scoring for the Cyclones. They came out and made like their first couple of shots and you thought that Iowa State was ready to go. You see in 5-10, they have not scored. It's been good you do in a good part to I think some very solid defense and team defense by Illinois State. But Illinois State has shot the ball well. I mean, from the three-point line, Mueller's made a couple of shots. Hill's been able to get down on the block where he's effective. So they got into their rhythm early. So Clay Edwards will come into the game and replace Pratt. Here's Willoughby, fade away on the baseline, off the side of the backboard. Smiley the other way. Great vision by this young man. Hesitation, got in deep, kept his dribble alive. Hartzell trying to feed the low post, and it's kicked out of bounds. I think, you know, I watched Smiley dribble this basketball. It always looks as though he's about a step away from losing it, you know, because the way he handles it. But it also looks to me like he's just, he's pretty close to carrying the ball, turning it over. 
Top of the key right now, guarded by J.C. Holloway. Steve Hartzell had his pocket pick. Willoughby, the length of the floor, and he'll lay it in. Iowa State always known for their defense, but that was a very good pick. Without a foul, that Willoughby. Let's see if that gets the Cyclones going again. Their fans are trying to get it going. Dedrick Willoughby transferred to Iowa State when Tim Floyd got the head coaching job. He played for Floyd at New Orleans. Averaged only 16 minutes a game. Now he's a second-team All-American. He's got all six points right now for the Cyclones, and we'll get a foul away from the basketball. The thing about Willoughby that you have to like is his quickness. Not only when he has the ball, but when he doesn't have it, he's quick defensively. You see right there, gets a little pluck, gets the ball, and he gets down for a nice, easy finish. And welcome back to the Palace. Our game summary so far, Illinois State doing very well on the fast break, 11-2, and also in the front court, they are blanking the Cyclones. And a lot of action going on here at the Palace. Look at the mascots going at it. <laughs> well, at this point, Iowa State has got to come up with some fight, too, because they've not gotten off going pretty well here. Kenny Pratt has really struggled. He hadn't gotten any shots. So all the offensive pressure has been on Dedrick Willoughby. This is the fifth meeting between these two teams with Iowa State leading the series three games to one. Muller bounce pass inside. Watkins had a tr had trouble getting a handle on it. Got his own rebound on Cato again, and this time Cato snatches it down. It goes with two times Cato didn't block the shot, but he clearly made a difference in the direction of where the ball was going. First one. He just got up and then had to be shot over by Watkins. And then Watkins almost couldn't see the basket the second time Cato was on so good. Hartzell guarding Holloway. Alley-oop. And a foul. They had it coming from a back pick. And you get plays like that out of timeouts. Having trouble getting something else inside. They go to it right away, and here's the back pick. It's set by Dedrick Willoughby. All the concentration there. The ball is in the hoop. This is, oops, got you. See, Cato just too much for Watkins. Holloway just throws the ball at the basket. When you have a player like Cato, he can just go get it and finish with it. Kelvin Cato. A senior from Decatur, Georgia, misses the free throw, did not play high school basketball. Started his collegiate career at South Alabama and then transferred to play for Coach Floyd. Coach Floyd has had a knack for finding centers out of nowhere. Irvin Johnson won. He's had four centers that have not basically played college basketball. I mean, he's been able to just find them in a variety of places. I know Irvin Johnson being one of those players that he had. He had Mike McDonald and a Sidney Rice who's playing in Europe. None of those guys played high school basketball. He just finds them. And he had Irvin Johnson at New Orleans. Now Irvin Johnson is playing for the Denver Nuggets in the NBA. On the baseline, Steve Johnson off the mark, rebound, and a block. Rico Hill comes up with it. Here's Hartzell running the show straight to the hole. Edwards comes up with the rebound. Yeah, and Cato made a difference on that. Holloway, nice look. Cato and one. They missed Smiley. Illinois State misses Smiley on the floor. They've got to get him back. He's the one guy that kept them in some sense of rhythm. You see Holloway push it up. He sees coming over his Rico Hill coming back to try to help, but just not getting in there in time was Illinois State. But when you push it up, People have to help out. Nobody help. Hansel chases. Rico Hill comes over. Mueller comes over and tries to tap the ball, but he lets Cato get it up, and Cato put it in. So Calvin Cato, a 52% free throw shooter. He nails it. And Iowa State now back in it. 15 to 11, they trail. Schaefbauer popping out, almost lost it. Gibbons comes up with it. Iowa State on a 7-0 run. Shape ball. Keeping it alive underneath. 
Smiling. Here's Gibbons. Rebound. Stick back. Blocked by Cato. Oh, I mean, he's all over the place for the rebound. Just a block. He's everywhere. Willoughby leaning inside. This is Iowa State at their best. Quick to the ball. Get quick shot. Chase it down. Eight points now for Dedrick Willoughby. Iowa State losing to Kansas in the Big 12 tournament, 72 to 48. Smiley from downtown, tipped up, recovered by Hill, inside off the glass, too much. Smiley with the rebound. Well, they let him play the game the way they should. He looks back, Gibbons open look. See, Smiley created it though. He got the rebound, came to a two-foot stop and threw it back so Gibbons could get the shot. But it's his quickness that allowed that to happen. 17-13, 8-19 to go here in the first half of play. A number six seed against the number 11. Iowa State, the number six. Holloway thought about it again, passed up on the shot. Inside, Pratt let it go and knocked out of bounds by Muller. Pratt is looking for some help there. He didn't get any. Muller, I thought, came over and just got in good position. So Holloway will send it inbounds. Steve Johnson inside. Nice look. Edwards plus the foul. Tip of the game is settled. It was quick coming out at the top, favoring Illinois State. Iowa State has found their rhythm. So Schaefbauer picks up his second foul. You see right here, quick pass inside. Schaefbauer comes over late. There's no chance to get that block. Clay Edwards. Nails the free throw. Seven minutes, 58 seconds to go in the first half. Iowa State storming back. Iowa State on a 13-2 run in the last five minutes and 38 seconds, and they now trail by one with 7.58 to go. So the Redbirds will send it inbound. Illinois State in the first six minutes and 20 seconds, they were four of six. Since then, two of 12 from the field. You're coming out after the timeout, Iowa State has gone in almost to a 1-2-2 or a 1-3-2 or or where they wanted to make sure they had the perimeter shooters covered. Schaefer, the best shooter, just missed a wide open look. Willoughby. Seven minutes, 31 seconds remaining here in the first half of play. Illinois State with a one-point lead over Iowa State. However, the Cyclones on a 13-2 run in the last five minutes and 38 seconds in the corner. Holloway, rebound, Cato, and he'll rip it down. And yeah, they have no chance once Cato gets the ball. It's been a little bit of what's going on here. But Cato finally got into position to intimidate some shots, get some rebounds, got a three-point play, and the energy surge now favors from the, what the play of Cato, Iowa State. Seven points now for Cato, long rebound out to Jedrick Willoughby. The Cyclones have weathered the storm and reclaimed the lead. They swing it. Johnson inside. And a whistle and foul. And I think Schaefer may have just picked up his third foul if they call that on him. Here in the Midwest region, day one of the NCAA tournament. In our earlier game, Cincinnati beating Butler in a 3-14 matchup. They will await the winner of Iowa State, Illinois State. Coming up later on tonight, Xavier and Vanderbilt and UCLA, Charleston Southern. Illinois State has kind of put themselves in a difficult position. First of all, Schaefer is the guy that they normally let shoot shots with range. He just picked up his third foul. So now he's out of the game. But all of a sudden, the thing that, that is interesting, when you watch Dedrick Willoughby, and I, and I like watching him as we take a look at J.C. Holloway, Dedrick Willoughby was guarding Mueller. He made two three-pointers. He guards him closely, 
but he also cuts to the ball as hard as anybody with as much energy as I, I'm telling you, I've ever seen play. This guy is quick to his point, quick to get started and stopped and started, and that, he makes it so much harder to guard when you play at that level. Jadrick Willoughby gained 10 pounds during the offseason, lifting weights, got stronger, but has had problems, as we mentioned earlier, with his hamstring. Missed 31 straight practices this season. He tried to lob to Muller, and it's taken away. Here's Willoughby, head of steam, no-look pass. Johnson, extra pass, and Kenny Pratt will finish. Yeah, Kenny Pratt used the body well that time. It definitely was a travel. The Fishers didn't think it was. Cyclones on an 18-2 run. Here's Hansel. And Steve Hansel, the Missouri Valley sixth man of the year, and he's also the captain of the Missouri Valley Conference all bench team. Well, as the sixth man, I would understand why he'd be the captain, but at least you got somebody else to get you some firepower here because they, all of a sudden, they, Iowa State, the Redbirds, have just lost that because Rico Hill really hadn't been a factor here much offensively. Hansel out of Birmingham, Great Britain. Here's Smiley, looking to create off the dribble. Got to the basket, couldn't get the roll. Followed by Hill, blocked. Loose ball, finally, Muller, 17-footer, got it. That's all they're going to get is 17-footers. As long as Cato's in the game, they won't get many layups if he's down there. How do you attack a shot blocker? You go to his body, because you can't allow him to get a, a bounce where he can crouch down and get up, so you get to his body. J.C. Holloway, all knotted up at 22 apiece, 5.13 to go, lob inside, and we'll get a hold. Illinois State is a team that's, that's going to fight you. You see, quick to the basket here, Smiley. And then the rebound will come down. Now watch. You just let Cato get the ball because you don't come back into him. And then the ball is bounced out. No one can get out there. Mueller, who made his first two shots, knocks that one right down. That's where they've got to look to come off picks and get shots about 15 without being concerned about Cato, who has definitely become a factor here by either blocking shots, his height so tall, wingspan, hard to guard, gets fouled. Nine team fouls against the Redbirds from Illinois State. One and one for Cato. Ten team fouls. They will then move into the double bonus and get two attempts per foul. So Cato, a senior out of Decatur, Georgia, and is really exerting himself offensively here in the first half. Nine points, four rebounds. the defense by Iowa State. Smiley has nowhere to go with the ball. He's got to start breaking people down. Muller in the corner. Skip pass. Smiley. And he travels. Jamar Smiley has to look to shoot the medium range jump shot if he's going to keep the Cyclones honest. He, yes, and he's also got has to look at when he gets it, making the move immediately, quickly, because what he's finding is that if, if he stands still, Holloway can guard him. If he stays, keeps, lets him stay in front of him. But if you move when you get it, Holloway is trying to recover. Then you have a chance to beat him. Hey, turnovers, and we'll get a clear foul called on Kenny Pratt offensively. And yeah, that might be Kenny Pratt's third foul. And it is. Yeah. Now don't forget, while you're rocking on the road to the Final Four, jump on the information superhighway with CBS Sports Online. You'll find breaking news, scores, highlights, and... Other great stuff at cbs.sportsline.com. And you're always on the internet, surfing around and whatnot. Favorite toy of mine. You can find all kinds of information. Well, I was a guy that used to sit around and do strange things like read encyclopedias. So. Uh-oh. Well, I, I would just, I'd have to admit, that's a little different. The professor, meanwhile, Muller, also a great student with a 3.8 grade point average in management, has really found his shooting touch here. Ten points in the first half. One of them must be geography, ge ge <laughs> geometry, because he's got the angle on that hoop. A junior from Lafayette, Indiana. Cato really calling for the ball. Ceiling Gibbons draws the double team and turns it over. 
Smiley running the break. Illinois State with numbers. Jump stop inside. Got it. That is a classic break by Jamar Smiley. If you push the ball up and the defense does not stop you, you go until they stop you. He realized he's not big enough to get it over anybody, so he stopped and pulled up at the dotted line. What a headed play by Jamar Smiley. 26-24 now. Smiley. With his first two points of the game. Three minutes, 22 seconds to go in the first half. Illinois State now in some kind of matchup zone. Bankhead in the corner, four to shoot, and he'll get the roll. As much as anything, they were playing a little bit of a boxing one because what they had done was kept a man on Dedrick Willoughby. Meanwhile, Smiley starting to get his confidence up. Took the shot, and it rattles out. There was a good shot. I mean, it was a shot where you're standing in the paint. It's the one you talked about. He does that, and the defense now has to come and guard him closely, and then he becomes that much more effective. Willoughby, too late. Running the baseline, painting away. He get, you know where he gets over here? At the pit. By the time he gets to his position, he's wide open, and that's the key. The, the key. You get open early, not late. He's a senior out of Harvey, Louisiana. Hansel guarded by Willoughby. 17 on the shot clock. Gibbons traveling. You need to get somebody to help you set picks, and Kevin Stallings knows this, but watch Dedrick Willoughby. Right there, there's the pick. See, he's wide open now, and he gets it. This is nothing but net. String music. On a fast break, you push the ball up as quickly as you can so the defense doesn't get a chance to do, to do what it needs to do. First of all, we stop here. Here is the defense. This is the decision point. If it doesn't stop you by there, you can't get in here, so you've got to pull up. Jamar Smiley does a perfect fast break, pulls up, because he knows Dedrick Willoughby's back there. He's probably not going to get that shot. Have to make a good decision if you're a point guard. That's as good as it gets with Jamar, as good as it gets with Jamar Smiley. Smiley averages eight points per game on the season, and that shot will be there for him today. He has to look to take advantage. They reverse it. Edwards leaning towards the basket. Can't get it to drop. Knocked out of bounds. We'll head the other way. Well, they ran a play to get play. That was an easy hoop, and Kevin Stallings' group team was very fortunate there because he set the pick on one side, rushed to the other, and then he rushed the shot instead of getting set. Edwards is sophomore from Morning Sun, Iowa. 6'9", 225. Rico Hill, he's been quiet. Muller pick all alone. Off the glass, comes up short. Cato causes the miss. Muller knew he was coming, and he couldn't get it up soft enough on the glass. Shot blockers, they really change the game. If they don't block the shot, they make you have a difficult time getting it where you want to. Holloway hustles it down. 15 on the shot clock. Smiley up close. Here comes Edwards to pick right for him. Holloway's going to have to take it. Holloway to the basket. Changed his shot in midair. Knocked out of bounds. And last touch, they say, by Illinois State. Now, don't forget, coming up on Pinzoil at the half, Pat O'Brien, Mark Kellogg will get you updated on all the tournament news, all the scores and highlights, plus a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament. That's all coming up on Pinzoil at the half. You know, so far, this game has been more like you and I thought it was going to be, a, a tight game, because the style seem to be a little bit, they seem to be similar, and they've got players that can both push the ball up, players that can finish as well as jump shoot. Nice catch by Cato, double team. Looks backside, Bankhead all alone on the reversal. Hustles down his own rebound, but can't hang on to it. Steps on the line. He was lucky to get a look at it just to get a hand on it, but Bankhead went to try to get it and stepped out of bounds. So Iowa State still leading it. 28-26, 49.5 seconds to go here in the first half. And Illinois State really gone cold from the perimeter. I'd say 6-21 with 
would be what I would call real cold. Muller, Holloway got a hand on it. Rico Hill, he tried to look down. Here's Bankhead hustling it down. First layup, no good. And the pass was where it had to be. Now, they don't have a chance to get a fast break, but they do have a chance here if you're smart to get the last shot. A 22nd time out called by the Redbirds with 12.7 seconds to go here in the first half of play. So Illinois State getting out to an early 15-4 advantage, but Iowa State did not tremble, and they have come back. And with 12.7 seconds to go, they have a two-point lead. Other scores from around the tournament here on the first day. Villanova leading LIU, Purdue, and Rhode Island. Valparaiso leading Boston College right now. Homer Drew's team there in Valparaiso, Indiana. His best player, his son, Bryce Drew, who has been the conference player of the year in the Mid-Continent Conference before. Smiley. DeAndre Harris in the game now, a junior from Milwaukee, and they wanted that foul. Wanted to kind of get a sense of what was going on. Tim Floyd is a very good coach in terms of strategy, a tactician. He wanted to get that foul. Had one to give where you don't get a, a, a free throw. Smiley around the corner, got it off, and it rims out. Oh, he makes it ahead. This. Time going. He made a mistake. Though. And DeAndre Harris unable to convert with time running out on the floor. Had a chance to take that one all the way to the basket and it pulled up. Iowa, Illinois State, no score in the last two minutes and 40 seconds. So that's the end of the first half with the score. Iowa State leading at 28-26. Pat O'Brien, Clark Kellogg would be along with Pinzoil at the half right after this message and a word from your local station. And welcome back to the Palace of Auburn Hills where Iowa State leads it by two. Gus Johnson, Quinn Buckner, Quinn. Illinois State got off to that 15-4 run, but Kelvin Cato ended up becoming the difference for the Cyclones. It really did, Gus, because all of a sudden, you look at it, the Redbirds had no chance at all to get close to the basket because Kevin K Kelvin Cato has five blocks, and I guarantee you he changed at least another four, probably five to six other shots, so they all of a sudden couldn't get easy looks at the basket. Schaefer starts the second half. He's got three fouls. Watkins has it blocked once, goes up again, and Cato comes down with it. Same thing. He did the exact same thing in the first half, and he even gave him some offense. He has now six block shots. Now, the record for block shots in a tournament game here is seven, so he's right on that. At 104 during the season, one bounce to the basket, snatched down by Hill. In the first half, Hill only four points. Good ball fake by Watkins, but somehow Cato caught it on the way down. I thought he either caught him with his leg or maybe caught him a little bit with his hand. But the fact is, remember early in the game, that's how Illinois State got the shots. They ran up the court before Cato could set up in the back of the defense. Willoughby, first half, 10 points. Thank you. Way off the mark. Long rebound out to Smiley. Looking up the floor. Finds Shape Bauer. Setting up off the front of the rim. Offensive rebound, Muller. And they'll reset the offense. Hill behind the three-point line. He shoots it easy. I mean, he'll shoot it with such ease out there. He's a guy that likes to play around the basket. Very comfortable away from the basket. One of five in the first half for four points. He's a sophomore. Out of Calumet Park, Illinois. Brother Rice. Willoughby. Around the screen. Bankhead, 15 to shoot. Skip pass, Willoughby. Crash. Very, Eight to shoot. Yeah, very disciplined. They've got to make a play now. Holloway to Pratt. Takes a look at the clock. Got it off. Rebounded by Bankhead. Yeah, they've got a rebound by committee, Illinois State, because Kevin, Kelvin Cato is keeping Melvin Watkins busy, so he can't get it. Everybody else has to come and get it once the block out is occurred. 29-28, Redbirds inside, Cato in deep, and the foul. 
with his back to the basket. Somehow he got it up off the glass and in. Because there's no chance that Watkins can block the shot. There's no fear. First of all, he gets it. But I thought he backed into him. And then he just takes, just drops it over his head. There's nothing Watkins can do. He gets it. Good position. No, he does. He just makes a heck of a play by getting it above his head where Watkins can't get to it. So Cato at the free throw line. And he'll miss. Iowa State back on top, however, 30-29. Smiley. Hill. He's, he's come out the second half and is looking for him, which he didn't do in the first half. He's got to look for a shot. By that, I mean get it and always go and at least look like you're going into your, your shot motion. If they don't come, just continue to go. That's our eighth lead change. And Rico Hill averaged 27 points in three conference tournament games at 37 against Southwest Missouri State. Woo! Muller from downtown. <laughs> He had a step to make up that he probably would have made that because that was just short enough to say he was about a half a step outside his range. Holloway got inside. Tato! And he's fouled. And a good foul. When you got a guy shooting just above 50% or so, you've got to be able to don't let him get to the basket. Holloway doing it, coming to the basket. Gibbons came to help. And when Gibbons came to help, he left Cato open, and Hill came down to give the foul. And Kevin Stallings, Redbirds, put Kevin Cato on the foul line. And under Coach Stallings, 24 wins, ties a school record, and he's got everybody coming back for next year. But the question is, will he return? One of the hot coaching prospects as well. So in today's game, both Tim Floyd and Kevin Stallings, two men that could be coaching elsewhere next season. Well, you've got two young coaches, or any coach that's really good. Somebody is going to want them. And I think that, that somewhat says something about the value of the coach if other people want them. J.C. Holloway. Even Tim Floyd was rumored about the, the Bulls job should that have come, occurred had Phil Jackson not signed. So obviously some people think very highly of him, but the Bulls never had any to say on that. Here's Smiley. Crossover, got inside. Yes. Nice lead. Oh. Given, rejected by Cato. Quick off the feet. That's intimidating. When you beat a guy like that and he goes for the first one and you think he got it beat and he comes back and gets the second one like that. And this time he finishes on the other end. Seven block shots for Kelvin Cato to just go along with 14 points. He just tied a record for block shots in, uh, in, a, in the game in this region. I mean, he, he can go get it. He tied it. Tim Perry had it from uh, Villanova, I think, and Fergus Ellison from Louisville. And Tim Duncan. Diagonal pass, Willoughby in the open court, pulls up off the dribble, and it'll barely get the front of the rim. See right here, this is what's good. Now watch, he's back up again. That's what's intimidating. It's like I can't get around this guy. That's what's really hurt the Redbirds in getting some inside play, and then he can finish. Enterprise, hi, I'm at the repair shop. I need to rent a car. Enterprise will arrange to pick you up. This is great. Drive you to our place and get you on your way. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Life is empty. I yearn wanting more. Wanting more, more, more. Here's a tip. Eat something. Like the $4 Extreme Chicken Cheesesteak Combo. That's just 4 bucks for a fresh, hot, and hearty chicken cheesesteak sandwich, side, and drink. Only at Boston Market. Winter in New England. Virginal, untouched, undisturbed. The way it was meant to be. Let's rip it. If you 
want to take on Sugarloaf, Aditash, Mount Snow, and any of these other great mountains of the American Skiing Company, take out your Visa card. Because none of the ticket windows at these six mountains take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Probably ready for a Blockbuster night. Blockbuster says thank you with the bonus box filled with snacks, coupons, and other cool stuff. Free with three movie rentals from Blockbuster. So tonight, make it a Blockbuster night. Two nearly identical Porsche 911s. One destined for Le Mans. The other for a quieter life in America. But then again, expecting any Porsche to lead a quiet life may be asking a bit too much. Hi. Porsche, there is no substitute. I uh, know, this one's on us, sir. Right. <laughs> Get ready. You're my father? Uh, yeah. For a Chicago Hope Shocker. Alan Arkin guest stars with son Adam, all new CBS Monday. 15.06 to play, Iowa State on top. 33-31 in the tournament summary so far. Kansas, their seventh straight year, advancing to the second round. They beat Jackson State. No number 16th seed has ever beaten the number one. And Kelvin Cato, that man playing some great basketball, both on the offensive and the defensive end. Finally, Iowa State figured out what their real advantage was. It's just height. They have more height. And they've got in Kelvin Cato, and he's made the difference both in blocking shots and getting easy baskets. Muller pushed off, got it away, and buried it. So that, that used to Gus, the reason he gets that shot, Cato's not in the game. So you can shoot those little easy shots. And some scores. Princeton, California. California knocking off the Tigers. Meanwhile, Jackson State. Falls to Kansas and Cincinnati earlier here beat Butler. Danny Fortson, meanwhile, Clay Edwards. 35-33. Here's where I'd really try to get Rico Hill involved in the game. What they've done in Iowa State, they call it shade. When they shade somebody, they put them on it. The guy does not even worry about where the ball is. And that's what they're doing to Rico Hill. Gibbons. Backside rebound going to Willoughby. And they're content buying some time until Cato gets back in the game. Kenny Pratt. High arcing jump shot. Too strong. Smiley. Inside. Good look. Gibbons and a lay it in. Went after that time. Edwards just didn't get back. Rob Gibbons, a junior from Rockaway, New Jersey. His nickname is the Big East. Offensive foul on Edwards. That's a good call, and Edwards is they're going to take him out of the game. Because he didn't get back on the defensive end. And the Smiley just throws the ball right up ahead. You see right here, Gibbons gets it. You see coming in the pitchers late is Edwards. So he makes that play that causes this game. And then he comes and gets the offensive foul. Prior to that, head coach Tim Floyd from Iowa State was in, in preparing to get Cato into the game and said Edwards down. We've had seven ties and ten lead changes in this game. All tied up at 35, some games in progress. Villanova blowing away LIU Brooklyn. <laughs> he just blocked another. Rico Hill thought he had a look. Here he is, Cato. Baseline turn around and in. Too much Cato. He feels it right now. 37, 35, 14 points for Kelvin Cato. In the corner. Shape Bauer. Shape Bauer had been able to get going at all, but now he's out, got some range. Willoughby, cut off, he'll get it back. 
Puts it on the floor again. But you see how patient he is for a guy that shoots it. Look, he's all the way on the other side of the court. He gets the shot the other way. Smiley, bounce pass inside. Hill underneath and in. See, because Kevin Pratt, Kenny Pratt can't guard, he cannot guard him. And Cato was already out on the perimeter. So Illinois State, they take a 40-37 lead, 11-41 to go. Cato posted up inside, calling for the ball. He'll go to the other side. The defense of Illinois State has gotten such that they are helping on all the cutters, and anybody that looks like they're going to get a pass down underneath, there's some help on the weak side. You should be called if you front. Shot clock's down. Willoughby to the basket. That's a pro move there. Yeah, he's, he's got to go He can get his own shot. Smiley in the corner. Hill thought about it, gave up the shot. You got a 2-3 two, a two, zone. You got to get out there. Schaefbauer got his own rebound. Cartmill. Hill let it go. And him. They went into the zone, and Cato had to chase out to the corner trying to get at Mueller. And in doing so, he couldn't get back for the rebound. And that's how it comes back. Mueller gets it, and then he kicks it out to Cartman. Redbird, 7 of 13 from the three-point line. They lead it 43-39. Cato inside. Quick turn to the basket. And he's fouled. Great sportsmanship there. Cato shaking hands with Hill. See, Cato's on one side. He comes over. Willoughby tries to set a pick, and he'll gamble. And then he tries to make sure they call that an intentional foul. Because he never tried to make a play on the ball, so it's two shots in the ball. Kelvin Cato has eight blocks already. Looking for possibly a triple-double. Off the mark there, however, on the free throw. He set a Iowa State single game mark earlier this season with 11 blocks against Texas Pan American. Got the second to fall. 10.28 to play. Illinois State, Iowa State, 43-40 our score. Ten twenty-eight to go here in the second half of play and the scoring summary. Three-point range for Illinois State, 7 of 13. Iowa State, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the nation, 0 for 6. They shoot 40% on the season. State of Iowa does pretty well. They, they shoot like a top two in the country as Cato comes up with that one after the ball gets knocked out of Kenny Pratt's hand. And it's been Cato has been the difference in this game for Iowa State to get them back in it. And right now, they're just one point down. 19 points, eight block shots for the senior from Decatur, Georgia. And Kenny Pratt trying to deny the entry pass. Cato, watch the ball go to Kenny Pratt. He gets hit. He's on the right side. He just right place, right time. It just seems to be his day. Everything seems to be going his way. And no, he wasn't in the play. He's just trying to be where he could help if possible. Can't got, help much more than that. He's got 19 points. His career high is 21. Under 10 to go. Inside Hill. Ball fake. Somehow got it over the outreached arm of Kelvin Cato. A really soft hands and, and, and a good reach, long reach. And he just shot that right over the fingertip. 13 points now for Hill. 45-42, Redbirds. They swing it. Holloway. Here's Edwards. Willoughby trying to get the ball back. Nine to go. High pick and roll. Got it off. Faded it away and buried it. <laughs> he had an angle. He floated left, but he was able to keep his shoulder straight. Comes up with the steal. Hanson 
was trying to Hansel was trying to handle the ball. He just mishandled it. But I'm telling you, the shot that watch him, he's he's coming this way. He just keeps floating because his momentum wouldn't let him just go straight to the basket. You see, here comes a screen to what's his left, and he'll be on the other side of Hill. Nothing but net. Willoughby now with 15 points. He's 7 of 13 from the field. And finally, Iowa State gets a three-pointer. Inside, Cato had sealed his man, and he draws a foul. Gibbons. Uh, they may give it to Schaefbauer, and if he did, this is four. And it is Schaefbauer. Yeah, because he tried to come over. Gibbons came late because Gibbons was getting blocked, and Schaefbauer tried to protect by getting over there quickly. But he's been tired because he was guarding Dedrick Willoughby, and, and before the last time out, he, I saw him put his hands on the top of his head, just trying to get some extra, extra capacity in his lungs to breathe. So Kelvin Cato now with 20 points, 6 of 10 from the free throw line. 52% free throw shooter on the season. Stroke looks really good right now. It really does. I mean, he's shooting it with such confidence. Uh, and it started early in, in, in this, uh, when they started making their run in the first half. And we jinx him. One point lead for Iowa State. Smiley. And a whistle away from the basketball. Be a holding foul called against the Cyclone Stevie Johnson. And that will be the fourth team foul called against Iowa State. Under nine to go. The winner to play Cincinnati in the next round. Gibbons inside the circle. And he knocked it down. I think that's a, that's a shot. He makes one more of those. That changes the whole complexity complexion of the game because now Cato has to come out and guard him. And that opens up the lane, the driving lane. Gibbons averages only three points a game. He's got six now. Willoughby. Guarded by Hansel, the junior from England. That shot clock running down, so you know where it's going. Here's Willoughby again. And Cato comes up with the offensive rebound. Holloway squaring up. And the smallest man on the floor with the rebound. Smiley, other way, inside, turn around, jump shot. Hill, and he's short. Seven fifty to go. 47, 46, back door, Edwards. They run a great play where they'll run the pick for Dedrick Willoughby if he goes off high. The guy setting the pick goes to the basket. And we'll get a blocking foul called against Holloway. You are you can get in position. Or if you're reestablishing position, you can you will get the offensive foul if he comes over you. That did not happen in that case. Tim Floyd gets a chance to rethink. So Gibbons gets this. You see where Cato is. He doesn't get out. So I think it's important for Illinois State to have Gibbons make one, maybe two more of those shots. Kelvin Cato has no option. He's got to come out of there. The driving lanes open up. They have not been open for the better part of this game. Kenneth Pearson in the game now for Illinois State. And you play against Iowa State. They do a good job of changing defenses, and they did. And they caught Pearson. And he's going back out of the game. They were trying to give Gibbons as much of a break as they could. But they caught Pearson new in the game, did not in the flow, and they trapped him. And, and I think Illinois State was lucky there. 7.30 remaining. 48-47, Iowa State on top. A number six seed against the number 11 seed. Hill, jump stop inside. And he can't get it over the lip of the rim. That's a classic example of what you do to a jump shoot, a shot block. Rico Hill's a guy that plays inside. If you get a chance to go after him, you go right into the shot blocker. Watch him. He, watch his body. He goes right into Cato, and Cato cannot get off the ground. That's exactly the way you have to go out about it. And, and Hill is an inside player, and he knows that because he's shorter, he must initiate the contact. That's why Cato couldn't block the shot. 
Hill with 14 points and 13 rebounds. And Cato comes up with the rebound. He's got nine rebounds. They got Hansel guarding uh, Dedrick Willoughby almost. He's almost what they call shading, not even paying any attention to the ball. All on Willoughby. Willoughby popping out. One step in. Oh, well, he's got a nice touch coming off the pitch. Is he a pro? Yeah, he's got pro game. Yeah, he's got pro game. He may, he may not get that kind of stuff going for him, but he is good enough that he can create his own shot. That is a real talent. Smiley got the screen, forced it up, and drew the foul. Willoughby is a guy that can create his own shot. He gets a couple screens. Now watch. Here's what you've got to be able to do. Shoot the shot in between, and that's what he does. Before Gibbons can get there, Willoughby got the shot up before the help can come. That is a talent, and the, the real talent is the execution of the recognition that you got to get it up. So a lot of people can't do it. 17 points now for Willoughby as you take a look at some of the scores from the first day. Yeah, you see, they finally got by Valparaiso. Right now, Jamar Smiley, four points to go along with 12 assists. He leads the MVC in assists this season, seven a game. Hey, he's actually one of the, uh, I think he's six in the, he's six in the country in assists. He, he does his share, fair share of dishing the ball out. Our ninth tie of the game. Cato, turn around. <laughs> he's just showing it all. Yeah, he's coming with the whole package today. Some days you have it going like that. 22 points, a career high now for Kelvin Cato, but he's also got nine rebounds and eight block shots. He's searching for the triple double. Hill leaned in and drew the foul and created that he created that shot because he'll had nowhere to go but the guy they have somewhere to go if they're Iowa State and it's to Cato because Cato is loading them up with any kind of move block shots turning left turning right the uh, he came ready to he brought the lunch pail today he's doing all kinds of work another double double for Hill he came into this game with seven ten in his career and some scores a final Villanova hanging on to beat LIU Brooklyn 101 91 a four against the 13th seed Clay Edwards coming up with the rebound that we're looking for I would hope Iowa State can look for the Dedrick will be to throw the ball in the Cato if they get an option. 524 to go. Holloway to the basket. Threw it up top. Nobody home. Fortunately, though, will be there to get the basketball. He crosses over, takes the long range jump shot, and another long rebound going to the cyclone. Yeah, and, and Edwards has been big for them. Been big and getting balls. King Pratt couldn't get it going. Bank Sean Bankhead didn't get it going. And Edwards is really giving him a big lift by just being at the right place. Holloway off the side of the rim. Two-point lead for Iowa State. 4.53 to go. Smiley. Baseline. Leaves it. Gibbons. 14-footer short. He's short-stroked it. That's the one that if he made, then they put the Iowa State in big trouble. And he was scared that Cato was coming out. Willoughby. Inside. Here's Edwards. And Willoughby looks at him and says, shoot the basketball in perfect position. But Edwards does the right thing. He, he doesn't feel comfortable shooting. Get it to guys that can make shots that have been making. Inside. And a foul. Stevie Johnson. On the backdoor cut. And he will head to the free throw line. And Hansel picking up his third foul. Gibbons takes a seat. 
replaced by Leroy Watkins. Well, Watkins gives him the body. He does not give him the foot speed going up and down the court. This Watkins. Because Gibbons was doing a pretty good job with that, but they've got Shave Bauer back in. They need that with Mueller, because now you got shooters. Now in the East, in Winston-Salem, Villanova will now face California in a 4-5 game. As the Wildcats, Steve Lackus' group, they hold on to beat the Blackbirds from Long Island University in Brooklyn. Shape Bauer, down in. That's why he's back in the game, but he gets the shot because Cato will not come on the other side of Watkins. Watkins set the screen, and Cato's standing in the paint. Illinois State, 8 of 14 from the three-point line. Iowa State, 1 of 11. Cato. I'm not sure what the thought was on Watkins, but I'm sure that Kevin Stallings is thinking that is a bad decision to reach because once you reach and don't get it, you're out of position. Cato gets it. Watch him come across the top. He reaches for it. Stay behind him, make him go over. He's not a great shooter, but he can finish. Three minutes, 41 seconds to go. We've got a two-point game here in the Midwest. Three forty-one to go. Iowa State on top of Illinois by two. Meanwhile, in overtime, Rhode Island and Purdue in Memphis. Boilermakers leading at 73-70 in an 8-9 game. The winner will face Kansas in the next round. 2.46 remaining. Schaefer around the screen from the parking lot. He never got set on that shot. He got a great pick, and he's right at the top of the key, which is normally a shooter's best look, and he didn't get himself set. You really have to be strong to shoot the ball from that range, and this young man benches over 300 pounds. Very well-conditioned athlete. Willoughby on the other end. Got the step off the glass. Cato inside. Jump hook. Still hustling for it, and somehow got it to fall. Kelvin Cato, 26 points. 57-53. Throw it back out to Watkins. He can come and get another. All he has to do, he's a mule or a state for it. Just wait. Smiley. And it's an air ball. Well, Cato's been so active around the glass. He's either blocking shots. He tips it once. He gets it and can't finish. He probably may have traveled there, but he tips it again, and it comes out of his hand, and he tips it again for the third time and gets the basket. 2.32 to go, 57-53. Iowa State in the first half trailed at one time, 15-4, but they have stormed back, led it out time by two. Because I think this is a critical stop for Illinois State because Iowa State is a team that can be patient because Willoughby can always break you down. And a steal. Shape Bauer getting a hand on it. Here's Smiley. Muller spots up. And he can't believe it. Well, he got the shot he wanted to get, but I thought it was critical they got the stop because otherwise you get yourself looking at a, a five-point lead and at any time, the shot clock going down, Willoughby's going. Muller really disappointed with not making that shot, and you can tell after he released it. And a 20-second timeout called by Coach Floyd. 1.57 to go, 57 to 53. Meanwhile, out in Memphis, Tennessee, Purdue, with a minute 50 remaining, leading URI 76 to 70. A Big Ten versus Atlantic Ten game, and the Big Ten in the past few years, when they've really been criticized about their play during the NCAA tournament. They have been criticized. If you take a look at the bracket there, who would play? They're three and eleven in the last two years. But you know, I, it, it, when I'm asked that question, I only feel it, it matters for the teams that are playing in a given year. I don't know how you can carry that over necessarily if everybody else's schedule suggests and penalize a team sure because if everybody else's schedule during the course of the year says that the big 10 big 12 i don't care who it is get seven eight teams, that's who they get iowa state spreading the floor now and that's what i was talking about that's why that stop was important and they needed to get a basket because iowa state can break it down they're down to 10 on the shot clock holloway 
Willoughby guarded by Schaefer. Here's Pratt, swings it in front, goes baseline, pulls up, rattles up. Cato with the follow. The big fella. A man possessed. Kelvin Cato can do no wrong here at the Palace. Kenny Pratt takes the ball to the basket. It looks like it's going to go, but if it doesn't, coming for the cleanup is Kelvin Cato. He gets fouled, and they tried to foul him before the shot. Woo! Get a little help from my friends. <laughs> 28 points, 14 rebounds, 8 block shots for the senior from Decatur, Georgia. And he'll hit the free throw. 60-53, 128 to go. Want to try to give him a break? They could use him defensively, but they want to give him a break because there's a smaller team on the floor for Illinois State. They want to match up. That's why they sit him down. Smiley. And he is fouled by Holloway. Uh, this is one I thought Smile, uh, Holloway was maintaining position. It's a, it is. It's a quick call to make. Fisher does the best he can. I mean, I, I, that's one I, I can't even guess that with slow motion. Now, you play against teams of Kevin Stallings, very much like the Roy Williams who he coached under. They will do that defense, offensive substitution. Tim Floyd does the same kind of thing, and that's an air ball. Smiley's had a tough day today. He's not gotten one to the basket from the field and just did the same thing from the free throw line. We get a timeout. Bankhead couldn't find a teammate as he tried to throw it in bounds. 118 to play, 60-53. Now tonight on CBS, game three of our quadruple header. Dean Smith looking for win number 876 to tie Adolph Rupp. We also have a good one. Vandy and Xavier. Pax Whitehead from Vanderbilt and Lenny Brown, Gary Lumpkin from Xavier. Two of the best guards in college basketball. So what is Kevin Stallings telling his team right now, Quinn? At this point, I think you can, you want to try to make sure that you get, see what they do when they get the ball in. I, I don't know that you need to foul just yet, but you're going to need to foul it pretty quickly. What you need to do is, if anybody, let him get it. I'd foul him. I take my chances with Cato. I don't care how well he's shooting from the perimeter, but they just made a cardinal mistake. Pratt will back it out. Keep away now, four corners for Iowa State, and they foul the wrong man. Dedrick Willoughby, an 80% free throw shooter on the season. So Willoughby and Holloway, the backcourt, very good free throw shooters, 80 and 81%. He is telling him that I said foul and not Dedrick Willoughby. That's exactly what Kevin Stallings is telling him. He wanted to foul everybody else but uh, Willoughby because he knows that this young man, as you know, can drill three free throws. And he'll hit the first one. 18 points now. Illinois State has two 20s and two full timeouts remaining if Coach Stallings wants to stop the clock. You know, thinking of Coach Stallings having told his players not to foul David Willoughby, it, it keeps it in, in perspective. It, these are kids, and under these circumstances, and anybody under pressure circumstance may not get what you've done, what you want done, and that was the case there. They reset the, set the shot clock, and the, the ball never hit the rim. It's 34 on it, and the shot Smiley took never hit the rim, and that's what the official was stopping the game for. Illinois State, as we mentioned earlier, they trailed the series three to one. Sixty-two fifty-three right now from the corner, short. Smiley, he'll put it up, can't get it. The drop, and Kenny Pratt comes down with the rebound. 
Uh, you, you know the, the have you heard the ghost of Kitty uh, Ke uh, Kelvin Cato? Pardon me? The ghost of Kelvin Cato? No, what is that? That was what that shot was. Oh, I see. That's exactly what that was. Smiley threw the ball up quickly because he he did not recall that Cato was not in the game and sitting on the bench. And he was trying to get it up before Cato could get up and get the block. That's one of the reasons he missed that. 29 points, 12 rebounds. Rather, 14 rebounds for Kelvin Cato. As Kenny Pratt at the line, Iowa State. Coming into this tournament, they had lost four of their last six games. Kelvin Cato averages 10 points per game on the season. Set a new career high, smiling with the penetration. Forty one point one seconds to go here in Auburn Hills, Michigan and our Chevrolet players of the game Rico Hill from Illinois State 14 points 13 rebounds his eighth double double of the season and Kelvin Cato what a performance 29 points 14 rebounds eight block shots and probably about seven or eight changes. Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. And as we reset the game for you, one time out for Illinois State in terms of 20s, two pulls. Pratt. <laughs> Kenny Pratt was trying like he could to get that ball to Dedrick Willoughby so Willoughby would be there because that's what they want, Willoughby on the line. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Memphis, a minute 18 remaining. Purdue trying to hold on, 79-72 in overtime. The winner will play Kansas in the next round. The winner of this game will face Cincinnati. Yeah, well, it, as it stands now, when you think about Iowa State and Cincinnati, you have the size, and I'm talking about the width, if you will, of Danny Fortson going against the inside shot blocking of Kelvin Cato. It'll be interesting to see how Danny Fortson does against a guy who's taller than he is and with that long wingspan in terms of guarding him, Kelvin Cato. And the difference between what Kelvin Cato will face against Cincinnati is Danny Fortson has shown the ability, Quinn, to step out and hit that 13, 14 foot jump shot. Yeah, and the question is whether or not he'll be making it. If he's making it, he puts a lot of pressure on Cato because the, the thing that Cato can do though, he, he can cover ground, which means which means if I'm standing three feet off of you, I can still get close enough to block the shot. And if he does that once or twice, I think that it, it's going to be a, a fun game to watch, I really think. I think what you'll see though, they'll shade Danny Fortson, which means somebody will guard him and won't be watching the ball. Now, for some of you, stay tuned for continuing action from the Men's NCAA Basketball Championship. Starting at 5.06, some will see Pacific against St. Joseph's, the champions in the Atlantic 10. And then tonight in prime time, all of you will be here for game three of our quadruple header, the Lead game, Fairfield against North Carolina as Dean Smith looks to tie the record set by Adolph Rupp with his 876th win. And here, Xavier and Vanderbilt. Yeah, you see Xavier run up and down. They've got a couple guards. That Brown and Lumpkin will run. You'll see Vanderbilt try to probably pull that back a little bit. And some folks may see the... Uh, Maryland College of Charleston game, which will be a game. And an update on the Purdue game. 41 seconds remaining in Memphis. Purdue and the University of Rhode Island. Edwards with the rebound. 81-74 right now in overtime. Looks like the Boilermakers will get out of there with the win. But they may be jumping 
out of the frying pan and into the fire because they have the Jayhawks in the next round. I don't know about the fire in the frying pan, but they're running into a buzz sausage too. Because <laughs> the Jayhawks are playing well. Jayhawks have size, experience with the size. They've got uh, experience at the point guard, I mean, at, at the guard position. Ryan Robinson took over when Shot Josh Bond was hurt. Vaughn is back. Ray LaFrance, I think, for the last eight to ten games of the season, was good as anybody in college basketball. I mean, when, when Scott Pollard went out, Ray LaFrance had, I think, eight or nine games straight of 20 plus, and that has happened very rarely with a Roy Williams coach team. So Kevin Stallings admitting defeat as he clears his bench and he will allow some of his subs to get a chance to step on the floor here at the NCAA tournament. Yeah, but they, they serve themselves well, Dustin. I mean, they, those kids play very, very hard. They come back next year with everyone. So this is an experience that they will not forget, and they'll capitalize on it, I guarantee you, because Kevin Stallings will make them capitalize on him. He is that good. So Iowa State, they advance to the next round courtesy of a spectacular performance 